ESF has two flight modes, forward flight and hover. It will automatically switch between the two, going into forward flight mode when speeding up and into hover when slowing down. You can see that you are in hover mode when the thrusters are pointing down and the contrails are gone, and an H will appear on your HUD. This tutorial will show you the basics of fighting in hover mode. Hover fighting lets you keep your guns on your target and shoot and dodge at the same time. Most one-on-one -on -one fights are done in hover mode. Trying to use forward flight only means a hovering ESF could just let you fly past and get behind you or let you fly in circles while shooting at you. Stopping to hover also lets you get an ESF off your tail without needing help. This tutorial will be divided into dodging and aiming. The most basic way of dodging is by using vertical thrust. Alternate ascend and descend to strafe up and down much as infantry strafes left and right to avoid damage. After that, you can add rolling. Roll while you ascend or descend to change your trajectory. Finally, you can add afterburners. You can use your afterburners in hover mode to fly up. Combine these three to dodge however you want. The hardest part of dodging is maintaining hover. There are two ways of accidentally losing hover mode. Looking down and afterburners. Looking down means gravity will pull you forward. As you gain speed, your thrusters will automatically rotate into forward flight mode. To avoid this, simply try to stay at the same altitude or below as the aircraft that you are fighting. Afterburners will automatically take you into forward flight mode if you hold shift. You can counter this and stay in hover mode by pitching down fast enough until you are done afterburning. You can practice in the VR or warp gate to get used to how fast you need to pitch down to not go into forward flight mode. Also keep in mind, if you look up your ESF will have to fight gravity in order to start flying forwards. You can look up before afterburning in order to have more margin for error. And if you afterburn while looking down, you will fall out of hover almost instantly. have to compromise between aiming and dodging. Dodging too much will make aiming harder. So when you learn to dodge, don't overdo it. Prioritize hitting your shots. At least while you learn, keep your movements simple to make aiming easier. can also alternate between shooting and dodging. Afterburn while you need to reload or when you are taking too much damage. Focus on aiming while you are not afterburning. Never forget to try and keep your ESF in hover mode until the fight is over. If you accidentally go into forward flight mode, stop immediately and try to re-enter hover mode. While aiming, try to roll to align your wings with your targets. This way you can track their movements by looking up and down with pitch, which is a lot more accurate than looking side to side with yaw. Aiming though, 
is mostly practice. While you could listen to many more tips, practicing is the only way to improve. Practice what you learned in this tutorial until you gain some confidence. Whenever you feel you are ready, you can check other tutorials for more advanced stuff, like shooting while afterburning. Until then, stick to these basics and keep practicing.